Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Reverse 1999 reaction. It's been a second since I've gotten to any songs from this game, and Adam had a new one last month that I've been slowly getting towards as the days have moved forward. Also, new drum set. Beautiful. For those who are new here, that would be probably confusing for me to say so, but I used to have another drum set, and literally just today, I've put this one up. That's why there's, like, boxes and crap off to the side. I'm happy. Anyway, let's get into the song, shall we? Let's go. Ooh. A pretty little solo to open up the song. Reach out to the dark, a specter of mystery, a ghost story sparks, fuels my dreams. Ooh. Oh, the texture in the singer's voice. Mm. I love that percussive bit at the end of those phrases. This is where we're going with this? Huh. That's a sound I haven't heard in a while. Oh, that's cool. That's what you call inspired right there. And her vo voice works so well for this. I've definitely got things I want to talk about this progression for the uh, chorus, because I am loving this. But I don't want to get ahead of myself either. Ooh. All right, we evolve and still. Mm. Big fat drums there. Ah, uh, there we go, with the flute again. This is a really cool aesthetic. <laughs> that flute really cuts through, too. It really pierces the rest of the song, that flute. That's insane. All right, so I kid you not, I've been sitting here diddling around on the keyboard and figuring this song out, listening back to it constantly, especially in the chorus, exclusively to find out that it is in C sharp minor, I believe. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure Adam will hop in here and correct me if I'm wrong or somebody else who may be as skilled in music as him. I am just a dude with a keyboard and an ear. I'm pretty sure this is in C sharp minor. The reason that this sounded so neat to me, it reminds me of Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, a popular song more recently brought back by Stranger Things. And Running Up That Hill is also in C minor. So it's just that sound is very 
much the same as well as utilizing those instruments and synths that Adam was using in order to kind of play with that late 80s, early 90s feel. I enjoy that a lot. Like many musicians, I'm sure Adam utilizes songs as references, and I believe that this song sounds so much like Kate Bush is running up that hill that it must be. <laughs> There's, I can't think of any other song that is in that key that feels like this, that plays with that like constant arpeggiating backing on the synth that's just bouncing up and down on the keyboard and just locking everything together. And having that minor shift between the notes is just such an iconic change in structure. You're moving away from a major chord, you're playing around with a little bit more of that dissonance and a minor chord definitely helps push out that unsettling feeling that's kind of the point of minor is to sound either unsettling or sad a lot of the time and i feel like that was the intent of this song given the whole context of the lyrics and everything going on by the way beautiful character design overall i haven't really talked about that much i uh, used much of the animation knowledge i've got on uh reverse 1999 stuff but that monster design especially was really fun it was like a a demonic cat bus from my neighbor totoro so i, I really like that i think that that's really fun as well as just the character itself i don't know if there's a specific race but it was like a centaur doe which is kind of intriguing just as a concept. I, I don't know if there is a, a proper race that is that, but that's what it looked like to me. And I hadn't seen it before. So I uh, props to the character designers as well. This song, as well as the visuals that go with it, really play well to that unsettling sensation you're getting. There's there's something not quite right going on here uh and it's kind of up to the listener to figure that out and it's up to adam to portray that so i think he did a fantastic job on this one the uh drums being so fat i've got to talk about the drums the big beefcake drums very 80s sounding there very very large but also i'm not entirely sure where the inspiration of having that flute in there was like i don't know why that was in there i like that it was in there it was just just kind of like a why is this working you know like it feels like it shouldn't like i'm not sure if it was included because of something to do with the character maybe another one of their theme songs has that sort of a musical inspiration something a little bit more flighty a little bit more like fairy in the forest kind of energy or if it's just supposed to be there to have a cool sound that sounds unique and locks it to that character. Because sometimes you think of something that nobody's really mixed before. So having like a hollow wooden, like woodwind sound, like a, a flute like that, uh, like almost pan flute. I'm not sure what flute it was, but mixing that with this like very electronic synth song and... Oh, that it shouldn't work, but it does. And the singer as well, a perfect, perfect vocal choice for this song. She had all of the right vocal qualities for this song. Just enough of the rasp in her voice to not make it too clean, but not enough rasp to make it too gritty. And a lot of her tonality things as well, as well as some of her, uh, her phonemes, the mouth shapes she was making, were kind of interesting. Like, they sounded a little bit more indie instead of something a little bit more traditional. So I'm not sure if that was part of the direction to make her sound a little bit more like a singer from the 80s, but it definitely had a lot more of like a rounded, softer edge to some of these consonants. So I'm not fully sure why some of these decisions are made, but that's why I'm not the composer here, and that's why Adam made another beautiful song. What an interesting blend of things. I'm gonna have to listen to this one again a few times to like really lock in, but it took me like 15 minutes, like I said, to really figure out what this song was doing to my head and where my brain was going with it. So I'm glad I got there, but man, Adam, another banger. But I suppose I'll call it there. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you have any other songs you want me to listen to from Reverse 1999 or any other game or property, by all means, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best best and if you like this video and you want to follow me and support me and all that you know how to do that and i will see you in the next video goodbye